took on the deep plans. This is Carmen. Today I have a different type of haul for you guys. I usually do Dollar Tree hauls and today I actually have a haul from a new store here in my town and it's called Pop Shelf. It's my understanding that there are only a few of these stores in the whole United States right now. I think they're trying to kind of roll them out and see if people like them and shop at them and if it becomes a big hit they may end up putting more around the whole US. A little bit of background on Pop Shelf. Pop Shelf is actually owned by the same owners of Dollar General. So if you like shopping at Dollar General, you're gonna find a lot of the same type of ideas over at Pop Shelf. The only difference is that Pop Shelf is a little bit more expensive, but the reason for that is because they have a lot of name brand items and a bigger selection of things so these pop shelf stores are pretty much a bigger more expensive version of dollar general but the prices are still very very affordable and as you're gonna see today i did have a big pop shelf haul just because i saw lots of great things that i thought were at a great price and so I wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys today. If you haven't uh, been here to my channel before, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking out this video. If you're interested in a shopping haul, such as Dollar Tree or any other type of store shopping hauls, please give this a subscribe, notification, and a like. That way you are notified of my future videos. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. First bag I'm going to pull. It's a small bag, but this is kind of what their logo looks like. So it's pop shelf. They have these really cool paper bags, which I like with the little uh, handles here. Let's see what's in this bag. So I had some Easter decor that I stumbled across. So we're gonna start with this really cute, let me put this bag to the side. I'm gonna start with this really cute little jar. It says, welcome spring on it. Very uh, Ray Dunn style, but if you guys see here, it has a cute little pink bunny. Now it's not just decor, you actually can use this jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this open here. And so you can see, you can store things in here. It's like a little decorative canister that you can actually store things in. This canister, it is kind of like a ceramic. It was $3. Okay, so I did pick up two of those. I'm gonna see if I can um, pull out the other. It's exactly the same, but they were really cute, so I wanted to go ahead and pull out, or pick up two. So I've got two of these Welcome Spring canisters, so I'm gonna put these here to the side. All right, the next thing I picked up was some more uh, Halloween, and uh, not Halloween, <laughs> some more uh, Easter decor. And um, so I picked this up here. It's like a little bouquet of Easter eggs with some burlap at the bottom. They're calling this an egg tree and this egg tree was $5. And so I picked up two of those. Let's see if I can grab the other one. So each one of these was $5. Okay, so I'm gonna put these bags to the side. Next, I picked up this do-it-yourself garland. Now. If you guys see here, it says it's hearts, and then at the bottom it says XOXOXO, and it does not come put together. You have to create it yourself, but I love doing little crafts like this, so I thought that picking this up would be a good idea. This was $3. Next thing I picked up was this do-it-yourself heart deco. It's kind of like a tabletop, but it's all wood, and you just have to do your own spin on the color you want on this. I plan on painting this maybe either a red or a pink and putting this on top of our fireplace. So this was labeled as a DIY heart and this was five dollars. Can't wait to work on all these crafts. I like to kind of keep the Valentine vibe going until about the end of February going into March so I'll still be able to use this decor for quite a bit and then put it away and use it next year. Next thing I picked up were these really awesome ceramic love signs here. This is some love deco. So it's a ceramic love decoration and this was $3 and I did pick up two. So as you can see so far, nothing was really over $5 yet. So I'm doing pretty good. The next couple of things, uh, one, 
was this really cute bead decoration right here. If you can see all the pretty pastel colors with the little tassel here. It's a cute little bunny at the end and it says spring on the inside. And this was $3 and I'm probably gonna use that on a tear tray. And then the next thing I found was this really cute uh, box top decor and it's a green rainbow with a clover in the center and the bottom says lucky this box top was two dollars also kind of maybe thinking about putting that on a tear tray okay so a lot of these things are out of order now I'm going to go into more of some things that I found for the house that I thought were a really good price so this next thing I'm going to show is an overdoor cabinet organizer. So you can open your cabinets that are located below um, your sink in the kitchen. And then this has like a little um, hanging clip or whatnot. And you can just put it over the door on the inside so no one sees it. But when you open it, you can store all of your cleaning supplies, which I thought was a great addition. And I don't know how much this cost, actually. They don't have a price on this, but I know it wasn't very much. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, on the inside drawer or cabinet uh, that's underneath our kitchen sink. Then just a repeat that we needed because we're running low. Um, I picked up some toothpaste. So I got this Crest. Baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste. This is my favorite kind of toothpaste. It just uh, has a very clean feeling afterwards. So um, these, I believe, were $2 and not bad for uh, what you get, as much uh, toothpaste as you get. So we picked up two. I knew I had some more decorations. So uh, I also picked up these really cute paper plates. They're in a heart shape. And so we can have our dessert on here on Valentine's Day or even our heart-shaped pizza slices on here so I uh, picked these up these were an eight count for three dollars okay the next things I have are this baker's twine that I'm going to use to create my banners and my garland that I have for Valentine's so this was a dollar for this baker's twine which was red and white and then I picked up this DIY XOXO sign so it comes just in its wooden form so I can go ahead and paint it any color I'd like so I'm going to work on that and probably put it together with that DIY heart tabletop that I showed you guys earlier so very excited for that and I believe this uh, was two dollars last thing that I picked up for seasonal decoration was this really cute tinsel bunny he's so cute he's a little white bunny and it's got the very cute shiny tinsel, perfect for a tear tray, and he was just a dollar, so cute. And I think that's it for my um, my seasonal decor. So moving on, the rest of the things are just household items or things that I need. Okay, my husband and I love loofahs and we go through them like crazy, so it was time to do a restock. And my husband's favorite colors are maroon and gold. So I picked up a gold loofah for my husband and I also picked up a maroon one for him as well. So maroon and gold, I'm sure he'll love that. So we have loofahs for him. Next for me, my favorite color is lavender. So I went ahead and picked up two lavender loofahs for myself. So I'm very excited about this. Next, um, my hair's been kind of thinning out. I actually used to have really, really thick hair back then. And I don't know how many people may experience this. I may be talking about myself here and that's it. But I have really noticed that my hair has been falling out like crazy. I don't know if it's stress. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, anxiety. What? I don't know. But I have noticed that my hair has significantly um, gotten thinner over the years and that I have just lost a lot of hair. And I really want to try to see if I can regrow it or at least keep it from falling out. So I found this really cool shampoo and it's called Biotin Boost. It's a really nice size bottle and it says it's made with biotin, collagen and coffee seed oil and it's advertising as a thickening shampoo. And it says that it adds fullness and it strengthens your hair. Now, 
my hair's not completely thin. Like you obviously see that I don't have like spots or anything like that of missing hair, but I don't want to get to that point. So if I can do something preventative, I want to do that. So this sounded like something right up my alley for where I'm at currently. So I did want to strengthen my hair so that it doesn't fall out as much. And I also wanted it to get a little more full because I'm used to having a fuller head of hair. So hopefully this works out as they advertise it, but I believe this was only five dollars i don't know it's not marked on here but i remember when i picked it up that i thought it was a really good deal so unfortunately they only had one of these at the time so if this ends up working well i may end up going back and hopefully they've restocked and then i also picked up a pack a three pack of this classic lip balm carmex now my husband really loves these um uh for chapstick these are the ones that he prefers and uh, he always loses them or misplaces them or one of the things that I'm just like what he leaves them in his pockets and so if I don't check his pockets when I go to do laundry I <laughs> I end up washing these in the in the wash without knowing that they're there so anyway these end up being lost or whatnot so I always have to kind of make sure I have some of these for him Okay, and lastly, the last thing I picked up when I was there, which I thought was really cool, and I love everything antibacterial. I'm like, you know, a big time germaphobe, so if I can have um, hand sanitizer or antibacterial wipes, I'm all about it. These are a three pack of antibacterial hand wipes, and they are scented in French lilac. It says here, antibacterial protection, no rinsing or drying, and it has a fresh scent and that it kills 99.9% of germs and bacteria. So these are great because they come in three packs, so you can put one in your purse, one in your car, and then give one um, to your spouse to put in their vehicle. And so just really uh, functional and handy and had to pick these up. I think these were $3. These aren't labeled either, but I know if I picked it up, it was for a good price. So I believe that concludes everything that I purchased at my first visit at the Pop Shelf. Uh, if you have a Pop Shelf near you and you've gone, uh, let me know in the comments below what you ended up liking from the store, or if you have not visited a Pop Shelf, um, if there's one near you, you know, whenever you have some time go ahead and stop by i think you'd be pleasantly surprised with kind of how the store layout is and what they have available and the prices for the items that they have uh, like i said i didn't pick up a little bit of everything that they had there but um, they have really good seasonal stuff they have household items they have pillows they have uh, greeting cards they have toys they have a little bit of uh what is it of canned goods they have food they have crafts they have makeup they have everything a little bit of everything the store has a little bit of everything so i think that, that no matter uh, who you are and what you're into you're going to be able to find something there that may catch your eye so anyhow uh, i thought i'd share this with you guys and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the haul please make sure to like subscribe and click that notification button so you can be notified of my future videos and as always thank you so much for your support and i can't wait to see you guys all in the next haul bye